Among the many issues facing the U.S., cybersecurity is pretty high on the list. I'm joined now by Shark Tank star Robert Herjavec. He's also a cybersecurity expert. Robert, thanks for joining us on this yeah, snowy New York City day. Yeah. Good to see you. So, Robert, how worried should the U.S. be about cybersecurity threats? It's a huge issue. Well, you know, I've been doing cybersecurity for 30 years. Uh, people on the show may not realize that we run a large cybersecurity company. We do a lot with the government, Canadian government, U.S. government. It's one of the biggest threats, you know. In the last budget, only two portions of the government got an increase, and that was special ops and cybersecurity. So we are in the midst of the new Cold War, mm -hmm. and it's only going to get worse. We're having foreign nation states affect our infrastructure, our politics, a variety of issues. And what we're seeing now is the use of data as a weapon. We saw it with the email scandal with, with Hillary and people trying to you know, usurp the political process. John but, Podesta. Yeah, but you know, you're gonna see more of that in corporations and stuff and then critical infrastructure. And we have a lot of elections coming up in Europe this year and next year, perhaps we might see it there as well. Well, it, it's funny, I don't know why we're so surprised by it because people have been snooping on each other for a long time. It's just today it's being done online. So we have a new president, of course, Donald mm -hmm. Trump. What would you tell him? How would you advise him on cybersecurity issues? Well, I applaud the new president for creating a task force mm -hmm. on cybersecurity and Rudy Giuliani, who people in New York love uh, for a long time, is heading that task force. So for me, anytime you put light on the problem, it's, it's good for the problem. So I applaud the new government for doing that and bringing attention to so it. So what is the biggest threat? Is it a hack that knocks out a power grid? Is it a more of a political issue? Uh, is there a terrorism aspect to all this as well? Well, politics is, is one thing, but absolutely terrorism. Uh, you know, it costs a lot of money to buy a fighter jet. Mm. It costs a lot of money to buy a tank. It costs money to buy bombs. But you take two guys who are idealistic and understand computers, and you can bring down a power grid, you can bring down an airplane, you can bring down an air traffic control system. Mm. And so uh, those attacks are happening right now. We're just not hearing about them as much and they're just going to get worse. All right, well, and it's not just the government. It's also consumers out there who are worried about data breaches. Of course, we saw multiple instances of that with Yahoo. Right, and look, the, the price may get changed with Yahoo because of the data breach. Their, their pending sale to Verizon. Right, and now you're seeing uh, the biggest industry under threat right now is hospital systems. Hmm. Explain that. Well, so uh, hospitals typically have antiquated systems hmm. and the hackers have figured out that the pain of fixing something is greater than simply paying a certain amount of money and so ransomware which is a very popular term today is hitting hospitals like crazy and they're paying twenty thousand fifty thousand at a time to get their systems back up and the difference between a hospital and a financial institution is you know when you're down in a hospital you got to come back up like you can't be down for two hours, four hours if there's an operation going on.